Timothy, that's so mean. Stop scaring her. Oh no, where'd the ball go? Yes? No? No. Yay! 800, nice. Nemo, why don't you wanna buy my ordinary conch shell? We have been thinking about trying for a baby lately. Do you think we should do it? We want to, but we're not sure. It's a huge responsibility, what do you think? No hard feelings. Our daughter is aging. <gasps> What? I'll change this up. <laughs> Show off muscles. That's not tedious. Oh. Hello, my little mermaid friends. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Mermaid Star Gamer, but you can call me Amanda. Today we are continuing the Not So Berry Challenge 2.0. If you haven't watched the previous episodes, I suggest you do so. I have the link for the Not So Berry playlist in the top right corner, or you can find it in the description box below. If you want to jump ahead to a certain area of the video, just click on the timestamps below. Please like and subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss any videos I put up. I put up a new video for Not So Berry every Thursday. We're switching it up. Uh, Summer likes cooking, sure. I'm going to be doing Not So Berry on Thursdays now because I'm going to be playing WoW on Thursdays, or sorry, Wednesdays. I'm going to be playing WoW on Wednesdays. WoW Wednesday. If you guys are excited for this episode, let me know in the comments below. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, you know. Show your girl some love. All right, Summer, my dear, you are going to be growing up today because you have four days. I created uh, someone for summer because I did a poll asking you guys, should summer search for a Sulani significant other or just have a science baby? 86% of you guys said yes for the significant other. So I went through and I looked at, oh no, oh no. I went through and I looked at the potentials and I was not happy. Uh, let me just tell you this. They, a lot of them were too old. They were elders and I mean, <laughs> I guess you could be with an elder, but you wouldn't be with them for very long. So, and last week, uh, sorry, I didn't put out a not so berry because I was sick or something. If you can tell by my voice, I still kind of have it, but at least my voice is better. My voice is so much better. I didn't really want to talk last week. <laughs> it was bad, but it's better now. Thank you very much. Just kind of nasally. Okay, um, what were we working on? Uh, fitness. Fitness and logic. All right, well, let's go ahead and comb some seashells from the beach, I guess. So we can sell them. Because summer sells seashells on the seashore. And you were also working on your diving. I remember that much. A tulip shell. Yay. scrub a -roo. What, How are you going to scrub a -roo? All right, how are you gonna scrub through the sand? Let's see how that works. Okay. You gonna scrub through, okay. Well, I guess you can scrub through the sand again. This is interesting. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. Come over here and take a shower, please. Then, I guess, since we're not finding anything on the beach, let's go ahead and go diving. Free dive or scuba dive? Let's go scuba dive. Scuba dive for some treasure. <laughs> She's like, I'm just going to wear a bathing suit. I'm going out there anyways. 
So why am I going to put on some clothes and then put on my bathing suit afterwards? When I get to the water, it just makes sense to go in my bathing suit. It does. Totally does, Summer. That's going to help you work on your fitness and hopefully get you some money from treasure hunting. Or treasure diving. Diving for treasure. Oh, look at the cute... Who are you? Who are you? I don't know who you are. They disappeared. Really? I came all the way over here to see the dolphins and they disappeared. Mean. Isis Sulani. Oh, hi, dolphin. Be investigated by dolphin. Hi, cutie pie. Do you like me? Do you like me? Oh, you don't like me. Bye. I'm sad now. Um, free dive for treasure. Another Isis Sulani. And reached fitness level 8. Summer, Summer can now perform the epic workout on the weight machine. Summer will lose much. Summer will now lose much less energy while swimming. Good, because you're swimming. Um, we'll do scuba dive. Fingers of Sulani again. Oh wait, you did eyes of Sulani last time. We need to max out your fitness, and we need to max out your logic. Kristen, we have been thinking about trying for a baby lately. Do you think we should do it? We want to, but we're not sure. It's a huge responsibility. What do you think? I mean, Ambrose wanted a baby for so long, and I said, no, you can only have one baby. I think you guys should try for a baby. Try for that baby. All right, well... I think yes, we'll do it. Thanks for the advice. We're having a baby. Speaking of babies, I saw little Miss Bella Rose. Where is she? Bella Rose has another baby. Well, another, a child. I think she adopted somebody. So, let's see. Yeah. Claudia. Oh, Lisa grew up. That's what it is. Timothy grew up, too. Timothy is a teenager. Lisa is a child that needs a makeover. And now we have Claudia. Interesting. I think Nemo also had another baby. Yeah. Iris grew up. And now there's Mariella. Yeah. And then... And Herbert has a sister. Hannah. Oh. <gasps> Dominique died. Oh my gosh, he died from electrocution. Oh, wow. That sucks. Erica, you're by yourself raising two kids. Oh, look, you can see stars. How pretty. Love that. Hard Lani, where are you? Oh, I was like, where are you going? I might actually age you up tomorrow because you're getting so close to being an adult, or a young adult, that I think you're going to get aged up tomorrow. I'm not waiting. Take care of yourself, my dear. Do you not have a toilet? Oh, you don't have a toilet. Okay, well, guess what? Be like a champion. Have a garden salad. Now, I need to put your Sulani Treasures in there. You reach level five. Summer learned the recipe for French toast and fish and chips. She also unlocked the gourmet cooking skill and will com and will receive the competent cook competent cook moodlet when cooking. What? <laughs> Received the compliment cooking moodlet while cooking, not looking or whatever I said. <laughs> that makes sense. Throw that away, please. We don't have a sink. We don't have a sink. What is this? Can I add to your house? Yes, I can add to your house. Okay. 
I gave her a sink finally, and I kind of made her kitchen a little bit cuter. Because it was just too small. Well, come here and go to sleep. I made it, I moved it over, gave her a little bit more room, and put some wallpaper on. I did not put the yellow on this side. <laughs> Oops. I'll fix it next time I go into the build mode. Build and buy mode. That's better. Summer, my dear. Why don't you wake up and have some eggs and toast? And you need to talk to somebody. Well, everyone's coming over today because you're growing up. I need you to meet the guy that I, me I made for you. You can meet him now, but he's a young adult. And you're a teenager, so that's kind of weird. Hey, I heard you became friends with Kristen Bailey. Yeah, she was annoying me. And finally, it's like, I guess I'll be your friend. Reached level six. Summer learned the recipe for blue confetti cake and chili. She also learned some cool new trick moves. What kind of trick moves did you learn? All right. Scribaroo. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. The one time that I don't want you to do that. She's like, nah, I got this. I have a sink now. I don't have to go out, tra out to the trash can. Well, I need you to cook a blue confetti cake for yourself. Maybe we'll do coconut cake. Ooh, a strawberry cake. Blue confetti cake. Because it's time to age up, my dear. You're not going to college. Winter fest is tomorrow. Where are you going with your cake? I'm going to put it right here. Okay, well, I want you to put it right here and add birthday candles. Fight over Faye, Nemo, uh, Iris can come over, Kristen can come over. Let's invite Erica, Casey, Timothy, you need a makeover, Ambrose. Why can't you invite, what's his face, Timothy? Why can't you invite Lisa? We got to go over and visit Faye so we can meet the new baby. The new Bablerino. Faye is already here. <laughs> Let's put up some decorations. Cute. Oh, I need to move that over. That's, yeah. Better. Why? <laughs> that's not better. Why? That is, that's better. <laughs> and... This, this needs to go away, because, no, we're not, no. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Much better. All right. You should probably have some. Yeah. Okay. I fixed, fixed that. Gave her a cute little rug out front. It's looking homey. I love it. Um... You might want to put on some clothes there, girly. Hi, Ambrose. All right. Go age up, my dear. Ambrose and Erica. Interesting. No hard feelings. Our daughter is aging. <gasps> What? <laughs> the drama between those three. Oh my gosh. Oh, now she's... <laughs> Ambrose. What? <laughs> okay. Um, you're crying, but yet you... Mm. Make a wish. I wish to have no drama in my life, ever. <laughs> like, you and mom and stepmom, Kristen. 
And I don't care if you guys not don't even look at my me blowing up my candles. Because I don't care. Overachiever? No, you're not an overachiever. Oh, Summer, your last... What is your last one that you need to be? Loner, child of the ocean, ambitious. Ambitious, okay. And you're already finished with your aspiration. Let's do dreams. Dreamweaver. Sims with this trait build friendships and skills faster, do everything better when inspired, and know how to dish out mean interactions. Dreamland Architect, Tormentor, Torment Sculpture. We'll do the Dreamland Architect. Nemo sent Summer a gift. Well, Nemo, <laughs> why don't you just come to my party? <sighs> I don't, I don't get it. G go to the bathroom. <laughs> Ambrose is yelling at Kristen. You know you have a baby on the way. Ambrose, Ambrose, Ambrose. What do you want to do with Nemo? Become friends with Nemo. Well done. Thanks. Oh, you guys are just chilling out here. Aren't we friends already? We're not acquaintances. I'm going to go over with the cool people. Actually, here. Everyone. Call to meal. Go eat some cake. Enjoy my blue confetti birthday cake. Maybe it'll calm you guys down. No. Rory. You live literally right there. Go back home. You cannot come to my party. <laughs> Go away. Sorry to have missed you. You didn't even bring food. Hi, cousin. What's with all the future cubes? Anyway, um, let's go ahead and get another job. Find a job. Conservationist. Yes. All right. Spread conservation awareness to others. Yes. Did you know about um, gossip? No. Interests? Spread conservation awareness. No. All right. Well, spread conservation awareness. I should get going. Bye-bye. No, everybody's leaving. I'd rather talk to mom. Kristen? Ew. No. She's your stepmom. Why were you going to be you who Woohoo partners. That's just gross. Yeah, I know you're pregnant. I should get going. All right, fine. Whatever. Hey, you. Happy birthday. I'm sending you a little something I thought you might enjoy. Let's see each other again soon, okay? Sweet, thanks. I want to go. Your birthday gift from family is on its way, arriving via mail soon. Be on the lookout. Okay. That's new. Why don't you go get the mail? Alright, what did you get? Nothing. <laughs> okay. Let's travel. I want you to go meet that guy. Okay. So, this is Kai. I started a rags to riches island living style way back when. Island living was actually new. And this was my person. 
Kala. So I took Kala and I brought her and her husband into this world. And Kai is their younger, younger? No, older, older son. So this is Kai. Su Su. Kai, um, I want to say his traits are, uh, I don't remember what his traits are, but he has the trait from the island living when you meet one of the ghosts. Um, that's who his dad is, is one of the ghosts. Kala actually befriended and married and woohooed with one of the ghosts, like the island spirits. And that's who they had. But I think he has the same trait. Possibly. So he's going to be able to do like lava bombs or something like that. Which will be kind of cool. <laughs> he's also a merman. Kala is a mermaid, so he's a merman, and I think he has a brother or a sister, but they're younger than him. What are you doing? You drawing? He's like, what does it look like I'm doing? We gotta be friends, Kai. Talk about cooking. Enthuse about cakes. I just had a cake. I made it. It was a blue confetti cake for my birthday because I just grew up into a young adult and it was so good. My family came over and we all ate the cake. It was delicious. You can come over and you can try it now that we're getting to be friends. We're having a pleasant conversation. Ask about day. Did you get this? Research conservation. Okay. Uh, use the PC to research conservation topics and gain a logic skill. So we'll go home and do that after you're finished here. Tedious conversation. Um, bold pickup line. I'll change this up. Show off muscles. That's not tedious. Oh. <laughs> well, looks like you need to have a makeover more, more so because, yeah, I'm going home. Because you bald. <laughs> that scared me. I'm going home. All right. Let's go ahead and tend the table. Now that you know Kai, you can become friends with him. Stock the table. Start the yard sale. I have how many heart of Sulanis? <laughs> One heart of Sulani. Ooh, nice. And a finger, two fingers of Sulani and two eyes of Sulani. Come on, you know you want to buy some. See, this is one of the, um, One of the locals, she's an adult. She's also one of the locals and he's one of the locals. Okay, well, they were, there's some elders here. I saw them. Ooh, 2,200. Thank you. And that's her aunt. That's Erica's sister, so yeah, that's her aunt. Thank you, thank you. That is Kai's dad. Capelli, Kai Pelli. He's one of the spirits. Yeah, he came to life. It's been so long since I did that. I was trying to get the a baby with the mermaid. Uh, a spellcaster and an island spirit thing. It came with like a trait. Come on, Nemo. Buy the eyes of Solani. It's beautiful. Thank you. 1800. 
No, 1100. Aww. Nemo, you're my best friend. I don't know why this isn't working, so we're going to get rid of that. <laughs> uh, discuss logic problems. We're done. We're done here. You're going to come over tomorrow, right? Tomorrow is winter fest. I'm going to invite my new friend. And everyone can meet him. His name is Kai. He just moved in across the way. Uh, feeling support? Sure. We have a supportive family dynamic. Okay. Now, come over here and research conservation. I also gave you some solar panels because you're living off the grid. So you're going to need some solar panels to power up that laptop. That way we can get this taken care of. Okay, that is complete. Why don't you come over here and have some dinner. Well, we're going to make some clam chowder. And you're going to need to put on um, where is it? Computer settings. Lock for everyone but summer. Because you know Faye's going to come in here and she's going to want to go on your computer. And since tomorrow is winter fest, that's the first thing that she's going to want to do when she comes over. Ah. Devouring the fishy friend has left a foul feeling within. Okay. Sorry. No more fish for you. Now, come over here and take care of your garden. Oh, you're thinking about kiddos. The male's here. The male, the male, the male. We should have something from our family. Get the male. Okay, what do we get? Um, nothing. Starry dream, dreaming about woohooing in a backyard observatory. <laughs> Okay, Summer's dream featured a backyard observatory where she indulged in a romantic and intimate act with the person she was attracted to. Go ahead and talk to Nemo. Um, surrounded by the beauty of the starry sky, leaving her, her feeling euphoric and in complete awe of the beauty of the moment. Interesting. You met Kai and now you're thinking of woohoo and babies? Is this a quinkadink? I think not. Good compatibility. Hey, not bad. Based on their preferences, these sims have pretty good compatibility. They might, li they might not become best friends instantly, but it certainly won't be a challenge for them to get along. Sweet. Why don't you cook a grand meal? We'll do... Um, why don't we do a turkey dinner? And let's go ahead and get a tree for you. There we go. We have a tree and we have presents. Don't burn down the place with your turkey. Oh, you're sick? Really? Yeah, you can come over. I was wondering if I want to come over. No, you come over here. Take some medicine. You sicky, you sicky girl. All right, sabotage food. Yuck fruit. Yes, do you canoe? Bye. All right, let's go ahead and invite everyone over to my house. Faye, Iris, I didn't see you at my house. Ooh, Kai. Kai, come on over. Come on over, Kai. You can invite Erica. Um, I don't... I really don't want to bring you guys. You guys are just going to be drama. Drama, drama. It's fine. Everyone is coming over. Go pee. Nemo, you're the first one here. Hi, Nemo. 
Invite in. Just let me go to the bathroom first. Um, <laughs> just walk right in while I'm going to the bathroom. I need, I need to have a wall there. <laughs> or make it a room. Hi, guys. Hi, Casey. Ooh, Casey, don't yell at my door, please. Where's Kai? There's Kai. All right, everyone, please come to meal. I made this delicious turkey. Come eat. Mother, stay away from my boyfriend. My future boyfriend. I don't know where Ambrose is. And where's Iris? Hi, Kai. Enjoy your company. I enjoy your company, Kai. You're cute. You look like Nemo a little bit. The way you're dressed. He's like, I'm so bored. This is boring. Well, Erica will definitely spice it up for you. Cool. All right, let's go open presents with everyone but Ambrose and Iris. They're like, we're gonna bring our food with us. All right, you do that. You are really close to him, Erica. Oh no! I knew that was gonna happen. All right, we're gonna get rid of this tree and we're just gonna bring this in here. And hopefully it works. Okay, so presents are moved inside. Open presents again with everyone. If you hear licking, that is Lexi. She's drinking water. <laughs> she just had dinner, so. You're thinking about food, she's thinking about babies. Hmm. Oh, now you're thinking about food. Did you like it? Cool. Casey, how about you? You like it? Cool. Faye? Oh, she likes that. Oh, he liked it. <laughs> he loves it. She loves it. What about you, Kai? Um, did you like it? One jazz cat's whisker of a forgotten past. Come over here and hip bump him. <laughs> That's always fun. <laughs> Yips. Debate game strategy. Ooh. We got some hugs in there. You guys are getting along swimmingly, it looks like, without Ambrose here. Ooh. What'd you do? Ugh, where can I hide? That was an awkward conversation. What did you do? How about you don't ruin anything with him, please? Discuss logic problems. That's not embarrassing, is it? <laughs> Tedious conversation. He's like, oh my God, you're so boring. Well, unfortunately, we can't go out and do something exciting. But you guys are going to have to go home soon because I am tired. Nemo. More money, more prestige, the more work and responsibility. Should I try and get that promotion? Definitely. That should be up to you. No, I don't think you're up for it. Do it. Aim for the stars. Always aim for the stars, Nemo. Watch me get promoted. Okay, well, you're very confident, and he's embarrassed. I wonder if he said something. He's like a mount. Bye. Winterfest was awesome. Summer had a wonderful time and got to do everything she planned to do. Somebody just... Oh! What? <laughs> what just happened? Um, 
Did he die? <laughs> uh, I'm so confused. I don't know. He like, he got struck by lightning. And then he poof in a puff of smoke. That was so weird. Go to the bathroom, take a quick and tepid shower. Gonna need to have some do some do thingies, do catchers. I like how as soon as I put that down, it stops raining. Weird nightmare from being an ant. Okay. Summer had a nightmare about being a tiny ant trying to survive by storing green pellets of food only to be sucked in by a lawnmower. Reminds me of Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. That was a good movie. Harvest, harvest, harvest. Okay, Nomi, you're going to have to like... We'll put you over here. Because you're right in the way of the bluebells. I like how you have all these plantain trees in here and they're not even growing. Probably because they can't. Reach level 4 gardening. Cool. Summer, you are going to work. Your first day of work. With a headache. Have a good day at work, Summer. One of Summer's coworkers needs help with a task. What should she do? Um, it depends on what it is, but we're going to help out. Summer has started building a fledging entrepreneurial skills through hustling and building this skill fame, but mostly fortune awaits. Summer eagerly agrees to help them, to help her coworker. The two of them not only improve their relationship, but the task is completed much to a satisfactory of their mutual boss. Win-win. Cool. Yes, Faye. Oh, no, Faye. Promotion. Promoted to wildlife technician. She will now make an additional $17 an hour for a grand total of $52 per hour. She has also received the following bonus. Write conservation article. Nice. Spread conservation awareness to other sims. Why don't you invite Kai over? And then go pee. And preferably put on a cute outfit. Wear that one. Kai will be right over. Make it quick. Because he's going to be right over. Oh, there he is. I need to give him more clothes. Hi, Kai. Let's talk about some cooking. Oh, you come on in. I just have to get changed. Uh, there we go. Ask to cloud gaze. Do you want a cloud gaze? Oh, you had a heart. I don't know what that was, but let's let's cloud gaze. Pleasant conversation. Don't get hit by a meteor or a satellite dish falling from the sky, please. Don't do it. <laughs> Kai became good friends with Summer. You guys are so cute. Um, why don't we build a sand sculpture together? Oh. <laughs> Where are you going, Baldy? Sure. <laughs> Just pretend that he has clothes on. <laughs> wow. Um, so, I think we should exchange phone numbers. Um, can I do that again? Exchange phone numbers. I'm going to send you my phone number, okay? Aww, he's smitten. Cute. Uh, question. Are you single? <laughs> I'm pretty sure you are because literally you just came into this world. But I should get going. Summer has learned that Kai is single. Alright guys, I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. If you haven't already done so, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel if you enjoy the content I have on my channel. Also, make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss an episode. If you have any thoughts or ideas that you would like to see, let me know in the comments below. 
I hope you're all having a great day or night, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Take care and toodles.